Pickford, a while back as we were talking about the CARVAC. He also represents Easy Tools. This is a handheld multi-purpose salt and seed spreader. Uh, this, is, this is the upgraded version of the Red Solo Cup that all of us have used to try to put driveway salt or walkway salt out during the winter. This is also a really simple but highly effective way of being able to spread grass seed when spring pops up. And it really is an innovation in design. And at $19.92, I love that I don't have to worry about battery operation. You just fill it up. You have three different ports that you can pour from. Smaller would be your grass seed. This would be your rock salt for your driveways or your big chunk salt with big ones. We've had what, 3,200? 3,200 that have been ordered since Sean and I kicked this off just a few short weeks ago. Uh, Sean is with us once again. I wonder if he's still in the driveway. I'll find out in a second. Sean, welcome back. How are you? I'm still in the driveway still because the you know what? That's where I'm going to put this rock salt down. So um, yeah, as you said, this is great for doing the rock salt. I'm just going to show you. Just going to sprinkle it out a little bit here and even walking backwards. You can see, look how well it covers the driveway, but it goes down exactly where I want it to go. So I don't want it to go into the rocks right there because yep. I'm not going to be driving or walking on those rocks, but on the driveway here, yeah, I'm going to be walking. You don't want to walk on that black ice. You don't want to trip. You don't want to fall. So it really does a great job. It puts the rock salt wherever you want it, the amount you want. And I'm not going back to that bin time after time. As you mentioned before, that red cup we used before. <laughs> yeah. How many trips did you make back to fill that up? Well, I can put three quarters of a gallon in here, have a heavy duty handle on it and walk around and be able to do it. So with your long driveway, you could go up one side, down the other side and be good to go. Uh, I'll tell you what, what it does is it just greatly reduces the amount of time that you're going through that process of putting out the rock salt. Uh, um, I cannot put a plow on, on my front porch area, uh, my walkway, because it's cobblestone and it's so uneven. So I don't really have a choice. So we, we go through barrels of rock salt in the winter months. This is such a smart little device. I've gone, I've gone through the process of dipping cups in there and trying to shake it out, but you wind up dumping way too much of it in one spot. With this, it's much more even coverage. You save money because, listen, grass seed and rock salt are not inexpensive nowadays. And those little <laughs> yeah, ridges, sure. yeah. I, I, mean, I was really impressed with this the first chance I had to use it. It does the job beautifully. And, and I kind of wonder why somebody hadn't come up with something like this before. You and I yeah, have used I mean, broadcast spreaders before, the type <laughs> that, that sling it out. You have no control over where that's going. With this, you can control no. it. Well, and that's it. You can control it. You can put it exactly where you want it. So it's not going all over the place. It just goes into the areas where you want. And again, we'll put some more down here just to show you. No matter where I go with this and how I shake it depends on how wide of the pattern it is. I shake it a little more, a little wider of the pattern. So. That's the beauty of this. You can put down as much or as little as you want. Now, I use this with grass seed earlier in the season, uh -huh. and it was awesome because I had a strip down my yard where the dog's heavy traffic area put some grass seed down. It looks great now, even though it's winter time. So you can use grass seed. You can use fertilizer. If you, you know, use nutrients for your garden and your plants, you can use it for that. So it's an all-season piece. The other cool thing is it's really easy to twist on and off, and I'll just show you on this one here. All you're going to simply do, and I know there's been a lot of questions on .com about it, uh -huh. all you simply do is line it up, twist it, so when the handle's on the flat part in the back, it's locked into place so it stays where it's at. That's all you simply do. Again, it's a twist and lock. That's yep. all there is to it. So you can load up as much as you want in here, whether it's the grass seed, whether it's the rock salt. And this time of year, for me, it's the rock salt because... You and I are getting a little older. That black <laughs> ice is harder to see. The last thing I want to do is Speak for yourself, be young man. Speak for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> last thing I want to do is, you know, slip and fall on the driveway. And oh, everybody yeah. say, where's dad? Oh, he's taking a nap on the driveway. Well, I don't want to do that this time of year. It's a great way to take care of everything. Make sure that it's nice and safe. You just fill it up and you go. It, it, this is brilliantly simple. Uh, every spring I put out grass seed every single year. I'm meticulous about that yard. And I would actually take handfuls of seed from the bag and, and try to scatter it. Right. And found out when you put too much seed in one area, you don't get more grass, you get no grass. 
So yeah, it's some others. Yeah, th it's just a simple solution. Now, do I have the red one? I have the red one, right? And then we also have the blue yeah. here as well. The red has been a little more popular. Uh, it doesn't matter what the color is, they work beautifully. Those little ridges that are part of the, I'm calling it the chute, and you can see them right here. That's what makes everything come out so evenly just by a simple shake of your hand. And the demonstration that you did with rock salt, perfect sense. When you get ready to do grass seed, turn it to the smaller design. Right. If, right. You, if you're using big rock salt, then the, there's your selection, and then regular rock salt is there. Or that also works well if you're gonna be doing larger amounts of seed, and you wanna broadcast it in a, in a larger area by flinging it more. It's brilliant. And you get so used yeah. to it so quickly. Yeah, I'm using the larger rock salt, so I have it on the larger opening there. And as you said, you get used to it, but you can see it does a great job. It really puts the rock salt, the seed, the fertilizer, wherever you want. Again, I don't need it over there on the rocks. I don't need it in the mulch. I need it on the driveway. I need it on the walkway. I need it down the steps or the deck or whatever it might be. So mm -hmm. you can put your favorite kind in here. Then when winter's done, we're getting ready to go into spring. We're gonna have some garden stuff here not too long at QVC. Use it for the fertilizers, use it for the grass seed. I mean, you can even spread whatever you want out with this stuff, it does a great job. So, and you know what? Three quarters of a gallon, so it's not too heavy, even if it's totally full. Yeah, even if you do have a broadcast spreader in the garage, you're still gonna find a place for this because you wanna get that seed, that salt, exactly where you want it. That's right. a really nice innovation. Sean, I thank you once again for your expertise. Thanks for bringing me great stuff. Thanks, Dan, good to see you. Bye-bye. You know, we're getting, we're getting into lawn and garden here soon.